we are going to recap the game, and we are going to take your phone call, 615-737-1045. It's Monday morning quarterback time. Let's go to the phones. Midday 180, watch your name. Okay, let me get you on hold. We'll get to you. Kirk, welcome. How you doing, fellas? I want to tell you from a diehard Titans fan. We are All right, Pete, thanks for the call. We'll get you on hold. We'll get to you. And the calls aren't stopping. Midday 180, what's your name? On a Monday, we take a bunch of calls. Catfish Jake. What's up, Jake? Hey, what's up, fellas? Probably 25 to 30 calls. I'm taking your phone calls at 615-737-1045. But some regulars stand out. Midday 180, what's your name? Hey, Joey, how are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Like Joey. We start the hour with Joey. Joey, welcome in, man. Good to hear from you. Hey, guys. So, before I get to my point, where are we on the waiver wire to pick up players? Joey's always a really good caller. He's got some good insight on football. Such insight. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He can run the ball. Such perspective. The teams this year that have beaten the Saints. I would put Joey in the top 5 10% of our callers. That even the hosts were unaware that Joey never sees a game. Well, I've been blind for uh, going on six years now. It was diabetes that robbed him of seeing the game that he once played himself. It sucked. (laughs) But the doctor, uh, he had optimism, but it just, it didn't work out in my favor. All happening as his 10 year old son began playing football too. When I do get to go to his games, it's, I don't get to fully enjoy it. But Joey Brock soon realized there are other ways than sight to see. Rolling near side, he can run it in there! Touchdown, Titans! Realizing the radio host's description. When they describe the game, I can see them blocking. To the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. And his memory brought the game back. What did I just see? You saw a great, great play. Y'all see it with your eyes, but I see it in my mind as I remember it. And so it began, listening to visualize the game on Sunday. He really hasn't produced anything. Uh, He's not not getting many snaps. Joey, I'd like to see more of a blasting game, to your point. Offering his analysis on Monday. And he could probably help us out with some of the pass rush maybe on third down. I was very shocked when I heard for the first time that he was visually impaired because listening to him and talking to him on the phone, you never would have known that. And a kind of bond was created that even illness can't steal. I know that he is out there relying on us to be his eyes for him. He's got all the requisite tools to be a number one option. Connecting the voice of experts to the heart of a fan. This is the Midday 180 on 104.5 The Zone. Jeremy Finley, News 4. It's the Midday 180 served up by Wendy.